Well, hello again. Welcome back to another Player One Painter painting show. And I don't know if you can hear me over all the heaters in the background. All the one just turned off. There we go. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different because it's going to be very fast speed painting. So you can see a big, awesome painting done really fast. So you not have to wait 17 hours to actually see it done. Two reasons speed paintings are fun to do. One, you get the result faster. I know in this technological world, everything. You want it right away, so I'll give it to you right away. And two, it's a bigger canvas, so it would take me longer to show you. But yeah, we'll see the gist and progression. Any questions? Let me know. Now, surely I can't do the painting outside here because uh, winter's coming. And also, my hands are going numb, so let's, let's go inside. And we're inside, so this is going to be the canvas we're going to be painting on. It is a 40 by 30 inch canvas. Nice big for a wall to hang on. Has it all. It's square. Well, it says rectangle, white. <laughs> and it just so happens to be we're going to be doing a painting of Jonathan Snow slaying a white walker. Without further ado, let's get started. Woo, here we go. Alright, obviously you gotta, well, you shouldn't wear gauntlets when you paint, so we'll take these off real quick. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and grab our trusty little 2-inch uh, brush and start applying the liquid white. Uh, looks like I'm not doing anything, but believe me, it's the white medium. So yeah, definitely something. Nope, oh, got it on my hand. I guess I, um, huh. Well, there I go. Uh, oh, <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah, you thought it wasn't there, didn't you? So what do you got? We, we got blue and black on our brush. We are just whipping it around the sky. Nice and good there. Uh, trying to to vary it a bit so it's not boring. I know in this crazy scene uh, there was a crazy snowstorm, so we we're trying to represent clouds in the sky and peaks of light showing through. Putting some light on there. And uh, you, you always see me uh, just kind of smooth this out the surface. That's always good whenever you're uh, doing a large painting. You want to make sure everything's kind of uh, making sense. But we're just using uh, phthalo blue, black, and white at this point um, in variations. Just make sure you smooth it out and add in some nice dark smoky clouds to the right side here because that, uh, that spice scene was pretty brutal, man. It was, this is great. Uh, what's the episode called? Heart Home? Hard Home? Something like that. Uh, well, you know what? I think I forgot that I was going to do a speed through, so I just told you something. And we will never know. Oh, probably just adding the white in the sky. Add some white to it. Uh, it's going to use, it's going to take multiple coats, but you'll be able to lighten up the sky the best you can. And then if you pull, you can make, uh, you know, light streaks coming down. But it looks like we're working on that fence they made. Keep out those white walkers. I wonder if they always have that just for White Walkers. I don't, you know, maybe there's like bandits and stuff too, but the Wildlings, uh, they built that little stick wall. Um, I'm just going back here and there, adding some distant light. So I'm just using a one inch brush, using the white over the dark color we already put down and just smoothing it out. Yeah, it looks pretty, looks nice. Yeah, do this for a while and Always good to have that big brush just to smooth things out. It looks like I'm trying to explain something else. <laughs> okay, here it comes the snow. So even though we have a dirty brush that we use for our sky, go ahead and just pop it down for the snow is too, because snow is not always pure white. Especially in a dark sky like uh, you see in this scene it's going to affect how the lightness and the darkness of the snow. Um, and also just to, to make it look not so boring, I'm just putting some rocks here and there. Um, it's not just a pure snowfall. There's, you know, there's a battle scene. There's a burning building and there's just things everywhere. Uh, plus it just leads the viewer's eye easier around the, the canvas.
Yeah, I'm trying to tell you how to, to, to use your big brush. Um, the colors here, I uh, actually did mix a little bit of brown. Uh, I think it's brown, black, and um, that's about it. Um, this is white and blue. Obviously more on the white side. And after you lay it down, just go ahead and smooth it out with that big brush again. It's always fun to paint uh, little debris things here and there, you know, because you just make shapes, man. Uh, if you put some highlight and shadows on them, you got debris. It could be a building, it could be a carriage. Oh, there we are again, trying to say hello. 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 <laughs> okay, uh, I'm trying to show how to make your figures. So, you want to start with your uh, your paint thinner. That's something. Oh, went to go get my sketchbook. Uh, use paint thinner, so the lines are easier to paint through. Um, and you're going to make a skeletal structure of the entire figure first. And then from there, you're going to add the shapes of you know, the, the body shapes. So you're basically building from the skeleton up for your figures. I uh, do apologize for the lighting. Uh, the sun was going down and LOL forgot to turn the light on. But uh, don't worry, I saw that problem halfway through the video. Gotta learn how the camera works as you film. That's that's what the pros do, right? Uh, just so also I can see, because it's dang dark, um, I'm using some white lines too, just so I know where I want the um, limbs to be. Looks like I took my sock off. Oh yeah, you can look, you can use a sock to smooth out some uh, some areas that you don't want. Right now the paint is very wet, so you have the ability to go ahead and change, modify. You know, you're not you're not set in stone yet. Um, in fact, if you see over there, I wanted that to be the sword, but realized that the figure Jon Snow is much bigger, so we're gonna give him a bigger sword, and you can make these changes. Um, it's still in the beginnings of it, it's nothing set in stone yet. Well, looks like I'm getting hungry there. As he, uh, and then I left it again. Uh, well, uh, oh, look at that. Getting my lunch, am I eating lunch on the camera? Okay, back to Jon Snow, who you can barely see because uh, I forgot to put the lights on. Uh, don't worry, I promise you, this problem is solved halfway through. I'm uh, gonna paint his cape. Now, the beauty of painting is you can do whatever you want to do, because it's your painting. He doesn't have his cape in this scene, but I don't know. Whenever I think of Jon Snow, I think he has a cape. So I gave him a cape. And you really cannot see anything I'm doing right now, so do apologize. Hey, look at that, I bought some lights. We can tell, oh my gosh, we can see it all. Wow, that's what he looked like the whole time? Um, you can see as I peek in left and right, uh, there's no real detail on him yet. I just painted his structure, his structure, his, uh, his figure, uh, you know, just a really basic design first, because now I'm going to focus on the things around him. Um, you know, if you put a lot of detail on something and then, then you bump it with another uh, area, then, you know, you, you mess up all that work. Keep it loose at first, and then, you know, general to specific. Very good rule of thumb. General to specific. That means paint the general overlay first, and then get specific details on top. Alright, just going back here, painting the wildling houses. Um, <laughs> I want you to pay close attention. You see all this time and detail I'm spending on these things? Wait till you see what happens to them at the very end of the, the video. Alright, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, they, they get completely covered up. Sometimes you never know in a painting. And sometimes it's good to make risks, even though you spent all this time making these the best you can. Sometimes you gotta paint over top of them. So you just gotta get over it. With all that crazy fighting going on, there's a, the battle scene and there's a bunch of fire and smoke everywhere. I'm trying to represent that. Just with our monochromatic colors. Touching that C too. Saying hello. What you looking at? Uh, going over there, uh, doing the limbo. Alright, cool. <laughs> oh, showing you my brush, because apparently I put some black on it. Just trying to uh, make some more detail. Uh, penning techniques on here. And then I'm smoothing it out because it's far away and it's going to be in the distance, a little smoky, and there's actual smoke in it. 
and you can see here, I'm actually trying to separate the planes here. I know Jonathan Snow and his buddy, which you can't see yet, are... They're, they're close up to us. Everything in the background is just... That's that's not important. You want to you wanna focus on your, your main characters, man. We're trying to boost up that uh, dramatic lighting here. Um, so we'll give him a chateau. Uh, it started adding some ships, because they had a bunch of ships in the background, and it looks like I'm looking at some reference pictures, and here I am again. <laughs> There's some ships, and you'll see what I'll do in a second, but I'm just adding the silhouette of all these ships. I'll put a little dry brush of white over top of them, so they look further away. And here we go, we're going to build up the destroyed White Walker. I thought it'd be cool just to represent his legs and like an arm and a head as he's getting exploded with the uh, uh, the ice blade. Um, and there you go. Uh, I took some white and blue, and I'm just popping it around to get those ice particles. Uh, I know as humans we are kind of prone to order and um, you know symmetry and all that good stuff, but to the best of your ability, try to make it look like it's just a spontaneous bust of ice. Really just explore and try to not to have a pattern. Make it an unpattern. An anti-pattern. And there it is. There's the White Walker everywhere. I bet you he's not going to be walking for long. Um, you can obviously see what I'm doing now is, you know, I didn't really like the, the calm pose posture. So I'm actually changing up there. Since we did not put all that crazy detail and I feel like I had to uh, redo everything, I'm, you know, that's why it's really important to do the structural lines first. And if you want to change it, nothing's stopping you. So we're going to change up this pose a bit. And sometimes it's hard to, to know what line is the line you want to use. Maybe it's good to make some darker lines. Um, see like I did there, darker lines. And then try to blend out the ones that you don't want. And for what they wear, they wear like a crazy samurai white walker cool outfit. So I'm trying to represent that. Um, show them a little arm there. I'll blend in the legs. I actually did this so I was not confused of all the other lines I used. And yeah, we're just trying to get that ultimate pose. Hey, you got a swivel chair. And I have a hole in my shirt. Oh no, I'm exposed. How embarrassing. Alright, we're just putting detail on this boy. Uh, his crazy white face with, like, I don't know. Uh, looks pretty old. They look awesome, though, what I'm saying. Painting his blue eyes, his pretty blue eyes. I'm trying to represent his, his hair blowing in the wind along with Jonathan Snow's and his cape. So the wind is definitely going this way. So everything that could be a fabric piece is blowing us same. Now this is the, the, the toughest part. I'm trying to represent John looking like John. Make sure you have a picture for reference. Oh, got a phone call. Let me take this one. Uh, just give me a second. Looks like uh, it's a pretty important one. Oh, have some laughs. Oh. My bad. Back to John. I was looking at <laughs> you see me like popping over. I'm actually looking at a picture of him on my computer. It's always fun to really represent um, a scene as dramatic as possible if it's a dramatic scene. So paint his hair on his face, you know, make make him look crazy. He's cutting down the White Walker to save all the wildlings. Just touching up some shadows here and there and giving the White Walker well what's left of the White Walker a shadow. Um, and really trying to blend the background uh, to the best of my ability for what, what we didn't use uh, for the guidelines. Um, touching up the debris, making some more little rocks. It's all good. Whew. I think we're done. 
think it took me about uh, seven hours total, but as you can see, pretty nice looking scene. Good old brave Johnny over here. Cut down those White Walkers. I don't like them. Oh boy, you know what? I need a shave. <laughs> After all that Game of Thrones painting, I mean, just beard. Bear with me one second, let me get rid of this. All right, and we're back, looking good, okay. Hope you enjoyed the speed painting we did today. I know it's a little bit different than our normal setup. Uh, fast forward the whole time and pop culture reference, but you let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time on the Player One Painter. Cheers!